Hello everybody, Ross McDermott here. Uh, I'd like to show you today a practice that, uh, that I do with a lot of golfers um, to make them feel as if they can generate more power from the legs. Um, if you imagine a, a baseball player, um, they're standing on the, on the, well, Hello everybody, Ross McDermott here. Uh, today I'd like to uh, show you um, a, a drill that I do with a few of my students um, to help them feel as actually that they're, they're generating more power with their legs, they're getting more drive. The, we forget really that the, the big muscles are in the legs and in the hips as well. Uh, a lot of golfers tend to hit with their shoulders and with the arms and the hands and it doesn't often get a very good result. Um, but if you can get your legs working, your swing, get some basically twisting motion with your body then you'll be surprised how far you can hit the ball um, so what we'll do is I'll, uh, this is a practice that I've seen a few pros doing it's a very popular one it's basically to imagine as if you're playing baseball um, if you imagine the baseball player the pitcher's out on the mound throwing him a curveball at a certain amount of speed but he's already in this position he's got his, his weight forward on his uh, on his leg he's raised turned his body already just to smack through into the ball so he's really driving with his legs as he goes forward um, we can do the same type of thing with with the golf swing so if i set up just here for you just now okay let me stick around here so best way to do that is to set up with the club the shaft pretty much parallel to the ground you set up in that position there and then feel as if you're turning your 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 hips and shoulders quite a lot okay and feel and think as if the ball is going to come to this area or maybe you've even got a ball sat out here someone's going to throw a ball towards you you just want to swing back around there okay so again you set your body up you coil your body with some power you feel as if your your hips and legs are more activated to to push and come forward so you're Basically that motion coming forward as you swing back towards the ball. Then there. So you're back and you drive with your legs. Okay? That's obviously not a golf swing. The ball unless you're really playing on one of these uh, really tough Scottish courses that the ball's maybe up in the up on a hill up here. But start with that one, do two or three swings with the clubs about uh, hip high or parallel to the ground. And put one down here about knee high, do the same thing. Okay, and then get yourself down even lower, almost about ankle high. Okay, same kind of feeling with your legs. You start to feel that feels more like a golf swing now, but you start to work that with your legs, and that gives you a lot more speed. And you set up with your driver or whichever club you want, do the same thing. Set yourself up, same position. Feel as if you're going to make that, that motion with your legs, let your legs get activated. And then swing it out. Same pace, same movement. So the more you practice one or two from here, get the club set in that position. Feel as if your legs are, are doing something, okay? That's you wanting to turn back towards your target. Okay, then do another one, a little bit lower, about knee high. Then again, almost on the ground. Really feel as if your legs are going to do some work. Okay, so that position the three swings one here, one there, one there. And then try it with the ball. I guarantee you'll get more speed out of your club head, 
without trying any more harder with your hands and arms. So just let your legs get activated in your swing. Feel as if you turn your shoulders, but yet let your legs drive the club back through. Okay, so give that a try and we'll see you another time. Subscribe to the channel, more fun videos coming with Master G. Bye-bye.